Welcome back to Let's Play FTL, Faster Than Light. I'm Hunter Black Luna, and we're going to take out the new ship we unlocked for beating the game last time, but first, quick side note, option 6, show beacon paths on hover. This will show you the hyperspace paths. Yeah, really. This should have been on by default. It really should, or something should have told us about it. But whatever. And we'll try out the derp stroll later, because I really like derp stroll type B. But this is the new one, the Osprey. It's got a special artillery beam. You can't control it. It fires when it fires. And you can't aim it either, but it does system and hull damage. It can be quite effective on a target, but uh, it's got a 50 second cooldown, which is uh, a problem. You can upgrade it to get to 20, which is not bad. Um, some heavy missile launchers do 20, so it's it's fairly effective. But you only get one regular burst laser. That's going to be a problem. But we get a really well-balanced crew, and uh, one of the achievements actually involves using your crew in special blue events. That's going to be all up to luck. The other ones. Use only the artillery beam to destroy an enemy ship while taking no hull damage. That one's going to be rough. At least... Our best chance to do that is either to find an enemy with only one laser who can't pierce our uh, shields, or wait till later when our defenses are stronger. <coughs> Excuse me. This one, get to Sector 5 without upgrading your weapon system. I know we can do this. I'd rather get the two achievements in one run. I'm not actually a fan of the Osprey's uh, Type B all that much, but it's worth a try. Note the uh, room configuration is... I don't know, it's laid out alright, although weapons is all the way over here. There are good venting options. Uh, pretty much this entire ship can be vented quickly. The bridge is kind of buried though, which is interesting. Medbay's in the middle. Um, uh, let's see. I'm good with just random names for everybody. Let's rename you... Pladeon. Because, hey, I don't know. Alright, we're good? Uh, yes, we're good. And on easy mode, because I don't like to be punished. I know it's a roguelike in space, but normal mode just... Harder enemies, less rewards. Note how slowly this goes up. Yeah. So, here's our ship. Alright, the human will be the captain, because they're just kind of generalists. I want the mantis on weapons, because he's way the hell out of the way. The mantis move really quick, so they can get around quickly. Rockman will be our shields person. And the NG is on the engines. It seems fitting. I can mix it up the other way, but because of the venting uh, abilities and the fact that we have a mantis, I'm not going to get door controls first. Um, yeah, we're not going to get door controls, I think. Instead, we're going to focus on upgrading this artillery beam immediately and getting some better shields and engines. To that effect, note that we have a second bar of engines we can't use. I don't know who designed this ship. No wonder the Federation's losing. We're going to invest in a power bar right away, so that we can power that engine, get us up to 20% evasion, plus our shields. We're going to hope some of these early jumps take us to enemies that can be killed. Exits over there, there's some nebulae here, which I would love to get in on that nebulae action early. See these jump paths? Look at how helpful that is. I mean, come on. <clears throat> Okay, we'll go here, then here, and see how cheeky we can be about the Rebels. There's a promising jump pass, though. We're not going to get stuck. Some nice nodal paths out here. If we have some extra time, we can check out these places. But this is not a ship we want to mess around with the Rebels in until we get it heavily upgraded. So let's head out. See what we can see. Ooh! storage vessel for military goods. Now the problem is they've got weapons. But 
they don't have shields, which is really good for us. Still though, that's a missile launcher. I'm almost certain. Let's try to do this without taking a whole damage, but I don't think it's gonna happen. Oh boy. Yeah, screw that. Uh, this is not a difficult ship to fight either. Just auto fire them to death. If only that thing just had a beam weapon. It's a shame. System repair drone. We can't use it yet, but we do have enough scrap to upgrade the artillery beam now. take power from medbay, which is always a good idea, we can shorten that charge time. We'll be wanting to do that a lot. Uh, and north we head towards the nebula, or just one nebula. Civilian space station. Uh, sorry, no drone parts for sale. That's a, that's a good deal though, that's not... Actually, I'm pretty sure that's standard store rates. Okay, uh, do I want to go... Let's go north at a decent pace. Oh boy. I immediately regret this. Impervious to the heat. They've got a rocket launcher and they're probably going to hit us with it before we can fire. Fuck. Well, time to test out that venting. Here it comes. Fuck. That just hurts. Not to mention the solar flare is going to be coming. At least we can pin him down. Burst laser is good for early enemies like that. And we're going to have a fire somewhere. Fortunately, it's there. I'm just going to pull out the mantis and engage in some emergency venting. Not that one. Got him before the artillery beam could even fire. Very typical. I was told to do this to help equalize pressure in the ship uh, better. So we're gonna try that. And please charge up FTL. Okay, we're ready for jumping. Into the nebula we go. Slow down the revs. A pirate ship. Ooh. Damn it! I was doing a couple uh, abortive runs with this, and I came across one situation that'd be perfect for getting the achievement where you don't. Perfect for getting the achievement where you use nothing but the artillery beam and you take no hole damage. Didn't didn't work out. And this thing doesn't charge up fast enough. The enemy's gonna get their rocket off. And it hurts like a piece of shit, and there's nothing you can do about it. I miss those ion cannons, and that missile always fucking hits. 20% of aid chance might as well not be there. Trying to escape. Can't have that. Can't build a church on that. Go for their pilot. Of course, the next hit anywhere we land is gonna be a is gonna be a kill. So frack you. There you go. That hurts. Breach missiles. Now that's interesting. Can't use it. Not until like uh, sector five. That's kind of a shame. Can do some upgrades though. I can get cheeky, transfer power from the engines, and have the artillery beam come up even quicker. But I don't know if that'd be prudent. We could do shields instead, but we wouldn't have the power for it yet. So I'm gonna save. Not to mention we might run across something in the shop that we'd like. It's a distant possibility. Okay, I go down here, and then I can go here. If I go up here, then I can go here. 
doesn't practically matter, it's just, you know, have your pick. I guess I'll go down here and I'll whoop and walk a little bit. Whoop and walk was not actually a word. Crack you, buddy! Oh, ooh, ooh! That's a beam drone, I think. We're gonna try this. Yeah, that's a beam drone. We're gonna try this, only using our artillery. Because it's only got one weapon. I don't know if we can do this. Okay, they can't get through our shields, yeah. So, uh, we're going to now heroically sit here. And yes, it's going to take forever. We haven't even seen the artillery being fired once, I believe. I wonder if they'll just get bored and frag them off. Not that it matters. Our guys have taken a little bit of an injury. Artillery beam is powerful, though. You saw what it did with that. Gonna take power from our weapon systems, power from our med base, and the wounded there. They were both there when a missile hit. Just enough time to get them healed. And back to your posts. Looks like three hits from the artillery beam should do it. I'm kind of glad I got another opportunity like this, because then I can stop trying to go for the achievements and just start trying to win. Also, this is thrilling to watch, everyone. I don't know, maybe you find it mildly humorous. They keep trying, they aren't. Did that one get through? We will not accept surrender. No. We're gonna kill you. Might as well power the weapons, I suppose. We're getting pretty low on those times. charge times, because the weapon officer has not gained much experience. I don't know about that. Man, I'll harm you. And you're done. Yes, master of patience. Alright. Might as well go for it. Okay, so all we need to do is not upgrade our weapon system. Which I think we can manage that if we do... Christ, we could just go more artillery beam. Uh... I don't know. I'd rather go for shields. We can do this if we take power from the engines. Which I'd actually be willing to do because... Let's look at the jump map and see if there's a store. No, no stores around. Well, in that case, I'm gonna go for the additional layer of shields because they will just be so useful for us. I take power from the engines to do it. And our second shield bar is up. in the first uh, sector is pretty good, I'm, I'm feeling confident. We can sell the breach torpedo, because we will not be needing it until it's far too late. Yeah, definitely into the nebula, just to stretch out the time we have, and put some distance. Missiles. That'd be nice if we ever get a missile launcher, but that's that's long-term as hell. I will decline that deal, even though it's a very nice deal. Okay, now what we should do is we go here, and here, here, and here. We'll have a decent jump map, or we could go down here and try for some of these places. I want to get to this area. So if I go here, and here, 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 I think that's the path I'll choose. Um, yeah. Oh hey, pirate ship. 
and we can actually blaze away this one, and our weapons are charging a little bit quicker. It's nice. It's not bad. And let's go auto fire on this. Fucking missile launcher always gets the first hit. We should go check to see if something's damaged. Oh shit. We're venting. Why fight the fire when you can vent? And hope to god it doesn't spread. Okay, we're good. Now we close all doors. And we open doors, which only opens interior doors. Which will apparently help equalize the air pressure quicker. Which does make sense in terms of, like, the dynamics of air. Oh, they're dead, yeah. This ain't happening. Bye. I tell her beam's strong if you can get a shot off. Our next thing upgraded will be the beam. That's our most decent offensive option at this point. Yeah, see, air pressure is... I mean, if you think about how air works, it does make quite a bit of sense. Fifty more plus a power bar, so we need to get to seventy-five to upgrade our artillery beam. And we have new uh, information about stuff. A store. Stores there mean there means there won't be fights there. So I'm gonna pass up two stores, or at least I'm gonna jump down here, keep my options open. Hopefully not backtracking. Hmm, investigate. Try to communicate peacefully. Well, we got something from it, including an NG. Nice. I do quite appreciate that. Um, Mr. NG. He won't get experience from chilling out at the artillery beam, which is a damn shame. I'm gonna post him to the shields, I think. Nice centralized location, he can get around, repair stuff. Hence, you know, NG. Okay, we will have to double back. We could go to the beacon, then hit that distress beacon, see what's up. There's gonna be a fight there, we could go... Okay. One, two, three, four. In four jumps, the rebel fleet will be here. One, two, three, four. Do we get cheeky? Go one, two, three. We can go one, two, one. Let's go there, see if we can get down here, and then be cheeky that way. Let's give it a shot. So it turns out seeing those jump paths are amazing. Civilian ship. I choose AIDS. Alright, let's do it. They've got weapons too. Well, I mean, they've got decent weapons, it looks like. Actually, is that a laser? That looks like a laser. I hope it's a... Yes, it's a laser. Okay, they're screwed. They can't get through our shields. They're just totally hoes. There's nothing for it. Hit their piloting. I got the achievement for uh, depriving, them, depriving them of oxygen. This also might be the run we get the achievement for not using any drones. I think this ship only has like one drone that it can do anyway. Nice. Get some nice compensation. Okay, yeah, we can make it here and then determine exactly how cheeky we'd like to be. Staying literally like one jump ahead of the ribs. Huh. Oh, something bad's happening there. Okay, we can get to the distress beacon. And... Fuck, it's right on the edge. I get the feeling this is gonna bite us in the ass, but I'm gonna go for it since it's a distress beacon. It's basically like a quest marker. Nice. And 
unknown disease has spread virulently among the workers. Uh, let's go for the rock crew. Alright. So that's one crewman able to participate in a blue event. And we can upgrade the artillery beam. Further increase its deadliness. Oh man, we are lucky. Oof. Let's just get out of here. Yes. Vote for me, I'm a risk taker. Demand the surrender of their goods. Might as well try. Okay, at the risk of taking damage. Actually, we don't risk anything. Target their pilot. Make them easier to hit over. Maybe the artillery beam will uh, contribute meaningfully to this fight. I think we're in pretty good shape overall. And they can't even hit us, so they're screwed. Without their piloting and their FTL, they can't jump. Their jump uh, track won't even go up. And it's far easier to disable their piloting. And it makes them easy to hit. On artillery beam. Yeah. And their engines damaged. There we go. That did not take long. Ion bomb. Now what is that? Fires a missile. Deals four ion damage. Can target your own ship. I'm trying to think. Does that really hurt like boarding drones? It's all I can think of. Go to the pirates or a nebula. Look at that jump map. Holy crap. We can go green sectors again. I'll take it. Yeah, it's a nebula. Nebulas have ion storms and that sucks, but... I don't know, maybe we'll meet the slugs. Nebula in this sector won't be as effective. It's slowing the revs down, so we're gonna need to quick, uh, step lively. We need to make quickness. I think our best path will be we'll try to continue down here. We've got favorable jump paths, but there's no jump path here. That's good to know. Otherwise, we might have jumped into trouble. At the very least, been inconvenienced. Okay, so let's get going. Can't see anything. Barren place. Question is, would going up there provide us any benefit? No. Let's continue staying low, or staying to the left rather. What? Well, our explorations have turned up nothing so far. Creepy place. Let's go there, might as well. Huh. Practically bump holes with a mantis ship. This transgression will be overlooked. The mantis are our enemies, and I'm kind of spoiling for a fight, so fuck them. And they've got a ton of weapons. I'm gonna regret picking a fight. Well, plus, they're gonna board the. Actually, they can't board us. Well. Wish I had power from my engines, but I don't. Come on, come on, weapons. Damn it! Incoming! Oh, they. I didn't know teleporter bombs could miss. We got incredibly lucky in that opening volley. Come on, come on, come on. Nice! Took their bomb out of commission. They can't pierce our defenses. So, attacking these guys after they let us live was a good idea, is what I'm trying to say. There we go. There goes their evade chances. Not that they ever had a chance to begin with. And there you go. Good work, crew. Next upgrade priority. Uh, we get a power bar just and just simply power up our engines. I wouldn't mind that. We don't have enough power to do this. Unless we power down the O2, which is a really bad idea. We can upgrade our med bay. Having an upgraded medbay is good for events. 
think I'll just get the power bar and power up those engines. Keep our uh, defenses strong, because our offense takes a while to charge up. Okay, let's go. Only really one option to go forward. Ooh. They're powering up for a jump, and they can't hurt us. So, engines first. Former Federation scout. This war must have been going for quite a while for it to get to this point. And their engines are out. Yeah, and they can't hurt us. Early shields was a good idea. If I may be so humble. If you let us go, we can make it worth your while. Four fuel is not bad. Four fuel and 17 scrap. Uh, I want to accept for the fuel. This fuel kind of worries me, so I actually will accept it this once. What if the artillery be uh, beam will still fire? No. That'd be hilarious. Okay, we can still be a little cheeky here. Oh, fuck. And I immediately regret doing that. Okay, hard choices time, everyone. I like having those shields. But we really need this ship. We're gonna try to run without O2. Long enough to bring these guys down. Fuck. We're gonna try to run without O2 for a minute. And see how that goes. Never should have come here. If we get a breach in the hole, we'll be so screwed. Come on. Okay, I think we can do this. Just keep their weapons pinned down. Oh man. Luckily, suffocation takes a while. Even imagine what it's like to be on our ship. There we go. Yeah, good luck with that FTL, guys. Nope. Oof. And the O2's back up. Piece of shit. Fighting me in the fucking plasma storm. I hate that so much. Okay, uh. Damn it, the power is messed up. Okay, I want at least one bar of shield so we can jump into a situation and we'll be okay. I'm gonna take weapons offline, actually. I hate fucking these ion storms because they just mess your plans up and your power distribution. All sorts of stuff like that. No attack comes, so we can put our power back where it's supposed to be. Okay, 56 scrap, that's enough for... Not quite. Upgraded medbay will also help enormously if we're boarded, which is something that happens. Don't think it can not happen to us. A lot of empty sectors, not a fan of that. Oh. Not a fan of that either. Ah, uh, fuck. Where? There. Bastards. And all we gotta do is keep them busy. And stand by to repel borders. NG, keep them busy if you can. We'll vent the bastards. There we go. Keep them holed up in that room. No need for that. Let's power up med bay. And all crew get ready for a scrap. Okay. Emily, report to Med Bay. They're going that way instead, interestingly enough. Huh? No, you don't. Oh, come on, you guys are our murder machines. There we go, close the doors. 
Close all doors, open interior doors to equalize the atmosphere. Dolan, I'm not gonna risk you. Get in there to finish the fight. And there we go, situation resolved. Now who was where? Okay, uh, you are weapons officer, getting pretty good at that. Emily was on engines. <clears throat> Alright everybody, back to your posts. That trick of opening all interior doors really does help. You know, let's go through a once through just to make sure the ship's okay. I hear stuff and I don't know if it's just ambient stuff. I think we're fine. Okay, close all doors. And we're good to go. Shame that doesn't give you scrap for killing borders or anything. Uh, practically speaking, it doesn't matter which of these we go to. And I can't magically divine which one is better. Oh, pirate ship. Well... Second verse, same as the first. This is going a lot better than I thought it would, honestly. Probably because we only already have three points in our artillery room, which means it is a factor in the fight. Not a huge one. Also, I'll probably just be selling off these excess weapons for the monies. I'd like to find a store. Once we get past here, it's all friendly sectors all the way. We might be able to help the NGs, or might be able to recruit some Zoltan. Two fuel, fifteen scrap. No, that's a paltry offer. That's what. You, that's how you are when you're begging for your lives. Man, fuck you. Enjoy being dead, shithead. I got less, but you can't know that. I don't know how I got what. I guess the explosion was bad. I don't know. Uh, or we could go artillery. No, we can't. I'm just gonna do this, yeah. Upgrade the med bay. It doesn't even need to be powered, to my knowledge. Although we can now keep it powered, or use that power bar for something else. We always need power. It's not necessarily a bad investment like upgrading the wrong system would be. Okay, if we stick to the nebula still, we'll get more time to do stuff. So I think we will go here, here, then we can decide if we have enough time to go here. Luckily, these all trace back to the exit, so that gives us some options. And beacons outside of Nebula are generally better. Uh, try and engage. Chase them. Crack these guys. They aren't shit. We will demonstrate that. Eh. Yeah. Uh, beam drones can't do anything against shields, they just can't. You guys are toast. It, it almost doesn't matter what I shoot at. Might as well keep them busy in terms of repairs. Make them easier to hit too. The artillery beam never misses. Never misses, from what I can tell. Yeah, they're dead. This next volley will just do. Yeah, good luck with that FTL, guys. Nope. And you're dead. Not bad. 